Hello and welcome back to another episode with Scholarship Talks with Jay. So one of you subscribers requested for this particular video that should talk about Masters of Civil Engineering in Australia and the scholarships and the universities available. So I have come here to actually make this video in respect to that question and request. So the first university I'm going to be talking about here today is the University of Melbourne. University of Melbourne in Australia and University of Melbourne in Australia is ranked number one university in Australia and they also offer this course of masters in civil engineering. The University of Melbourne is also um, ranked number 30 in the world among the universities so it is one of the best universities in Australia and I think anyone looking to have a master's degree or a bachelor's degree or even a PhD should consider um, applying to the University of Melbourne in Australia and they offer a wide range of courses but right now I'm just going to be focusing on civil engineering masters in civil engineering it is ranked number eight graduate employability rank so this master's in civil engineering in University of Melbourne has a high employability rate so I think you should also consider um, registering for this program or applying for this program because you have a good opportunity to get employed after your studies now let's talk about the duration of masters of civil engineering in University of Melbourne in Australia so for full term you can study for three years this course masters in civil engineering you can study for three years and after three years you will be graduating with a m with an msc in civil engineering or if you want to study part-time you are going to be studying for six whole years in order to complete your education but if i'm to advise i'll say you should choose the full-time study so that within the next three years you are done with your msc in civil so engineering. So let's talk about the start year. When do they admit students? They admit students at the beginning of the year in January and also in the middle of the year June, July. So you want to consider checking out this course and this application because we are in May now. So you still have a good opportunity to get this admission to study Masters of Civil Engineering in the University of Melbourne in Australia. Let's talk about some of the entry requirements. What are the requirements you need in order to be able to apply for the Masters of Civil Engineering in the University of Melbourne in Australia. The first requirement I'm going to be mentioning today is you must have an undergraduate or a bachelor's degree in engineering or a civil engineering background. That is the first requirement you need. Now the second requirement is your English proficiency. You need IELTS, you need to write IELTS and the score you need to obtain in order to qualify is you need a band score of 6.5 in your IELTS test English proficiency test result now you also need your degree you need your degree your first degree you need your transcript to also apply for this and you need your statement of purpose or motivational letter stating why you would like to study a master's um, of civil engineering in University of Melbourne in Australia. So now let's move to the scholarships. Let's move to the scholarships. You know, in every program, most programs comes with a scholarship, whether fully funded, um, partly funded. You can apply for the first scholarship on my list here today is the Graduate Research Scholarship graduate research scholarship oh, now let's talk about the graduate research scholarship as soon as you apply for the masters of civil engineering in university of melbourne you are automatically considered for this scholarship so once you place your application you send in your application they automatically consider you for this scholarship and it is 100 percent and the award the worth of this scholarship is 110,000 Australian dollars that is the worth of this scholarship named graduate research scholarship so when you are sending in your application 
don't forget to look out for this scholarship and as i mentioned earlier you are automatically considered for this scholarship as long as you meet the requirements for it the second scholarship on my list today is a lottery engineering scholarship and the worth of this scholarship is between ten thousand to thirty thousand australian dollars and they usually conduct this scholarship between the 1st of June to the 30th of July. Now, the third scholarship on my list is John Monash Foundation Scholarship. The second university I'm going to be talking about that offers um, a master's of civil engineering in Australia is the University of Sydney. It is also a good um, university to study you should also consider it you can check the for the full information on their website and the duration of study for the masters of civil engineering in university of sydney is 1.5 years so it's not as long as um, the university of melbourne so they all differ so if you prefer studying university of sydney you can check out their website where they display the full requirements and the duration every information you need to know about the university and how you can go about the application but one thing is for sure is you must meet the general requirements that is having a background whether bachelor's or undergraduate in civil engineering or in engineering you must have a knowledge about it first you must have a bachelor's degree your first degree must be in engineering in order to be considered for admission and scholarship for masters of civil engineering now don't forget your english proficiency you also need to write ielts and your ielts score must be 6.5 band you must have a band score of 6.5 has scoring 666 in every in your listening test speaking writing and um, listening test they must each you must each score six six a band six in all of each section then an overall band score of 6.5 i hope you understand me and don't forget your statement of purpose or your motivation motivational letter or your statement of intent whatever the one you choose to write make sure you write it well stating the reason why you have chosen to study uh, masters of civil engineering why you want to go into this course and what is your interest write it well and apply for the scholarships like i mentioned some scholarships you are automatically um, considered for it when you make your application while some you need to um, apply for them after applying for admission you need to apply for them separately while some you are automatically considered when you apply for the admission all right thank you for joining me today if you know you enjoyed this video and it made sense to you don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel and keep updating yourself every time if you are not clear about something you can come back and watch this video or you can send me a message and i'll be glad to respond to your questions and to help you out until until i come your way on the next one see you bye for now